It's a great honor that former Weinberg Prize winner, Professor Nicholas Ponta, has chosen our university to continue his research on protein-protein interactions. And in addition to that, Professor Ponta will also lead a select number of excellent students in the Ponta Talent class. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Ponta. We all know that scientific research boils down to one thing. At the end of the project, we know everything about nothing or next to nothing. But there are some rare moments in one's career when you discover something which will surprise the world. When I looked at the printout of the data on that specific Wednesday morning, yes, back then, all the data was still on paper. <laughs> That's when I knew we've found something. We no longer know everything about nothing, but something very important. A better understanding of how partner proteins diffuse and consequently bind each other in the cell. And if there's anything... That Sorry for like interrupting, Professor, but did you really discover this yourself? I mean, did you really personally make this discovery, this ingenious, world-changing discovery? Sir, if you would be so kind... Did this discovery really originate from your own mind? Oh, smells good. <laughs> Nice. What is it? Sautéed veal brains. <laughs> you said you liked it. For eating his mind. He fought with that. Yeah, well, that's the question. Can a cow think? Yeah, good question. Philosophically speaking, yes. Scientifically speaking, no. Well, philosophy is a science, so if it's a good question philosophically speaking, it's a good question scientifically speaking. No, 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 no. Come on. Philosophy isn't a science. No, not a real science. Philosophers boast that their scientific practice consists of asking questions, and if they happen to stumble upon an answer, they find it a trivial detail. They ask questions. Wow! Science is about knowing things. And in order to discover these things, you need to ask questions, good questions. And a good question is determined in the way it can be answered. Science revolves around the question how one can establish something as true. Okay, so if philosophy isn't a science, hmm? then what is? Okay. Um, mathematics? Of course. Physics. Does a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> and history? Yes, well... No. Mm -hmm. Look, history is not reproducible. You can't control the variables. Most experiments are uh, about knowing everything about almost nothing. You, you describe history. Uh, scientific discovery is history. Physicists make history by... So you say that a historical investigation, for example, on the resuscitation experiment, yeah. which was performed in a way that was um, ethically and politically incorrect, a historical investigation, which I happen to have been doing for over the last year, you say that's total bullshit. No, no, I didn't say that. It's not, it's not bullshit. But it ain't science either. Well, 
Most of the university thinks it is. Yeah, but most Weinberg Prize winners in this room think it isn't. Well, it, it, it's how you ask your question, the, the way you structure your question. Depends questions. on whether it's total bullshit or not. Okay, then I shall structure my following question scientifically. Was the guy that's cut in right this afternoon? And why did you not answer his question? Because I truly hope it wasn't because he was right. Oh no, you would say. He couldn't be right because it wasn't a properly formulated hypothesis. But isn't asking a question simply stating a hypothesis? Is that getting too philosophical for you? I'm uh, off to my unscientific research. I'm sorry. And I will also investigate why, for fuck's sake, at the age of 24, I'm still living with my father. Sophie, I'm sorry. An animal's head can also live in the isolated condition. The arterial pump takes arterial blood from the reservoir to the head. The isolated head lives on for hours and reacts to external stimuli. right <laughs> yuck but that is one of the most interesting experiments to explore from an historical viewpoint wait a sec a physicist who thinks history is cool so either you're lying or you're just a really nice person oh i'm a really nice person <laughs> <laughs> okay and um what about you what's your topic i study proteins with a scanning tunneling microscope and I've been selected for the Ponto Talent class. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. Thank you. I saw you with him the other day. Are you a thing? Are we a thing? Yes, totally. We're a thing. He's my father. Oh, <laughs> really? I'm sorry. Yeah, um, well, oh. it isn't that great, really. I think you're better off being in his class. But, I mean, he's cool, but, um, I mean, just fathers in general. Oh, yeah. But what were you thinking? I'm dating a man in his 50s. Well, age is only a number, right? It's not that big a deal. You should try it. 